Howdy, welcome back to the shop. Today we're continuing along with our little uh, rotary table indexing head project. And today I'm going to be fiddling with the, uh, the actual retainer that retains the eccentric that the worm rides in. Now this thing is a screwball mess. This is what the factory... Uh, had for a retainer and this has no you know it'll vibrate and reach in and contact the the eccentric it might vibrate out the other way and and not even engage the eccentric uh, of course you've got threads down here that are engaging on the side of the wall and this is just a terrible idea uh, of course that's what you get so what i aim to do and this is just kind of a mock-up to prove my point. This is an 8 millimeter by 1.25 uh, socket head cap screw. Uh, it's like the communist 5 sixteenths coarse thread. So what I've done here is I've turned the OD uh, slightly under half of, half of an inch back here. And then I turned the threads off the end of it until it's a pretty good close fit into that slot that exists in the eccentric i don't want to machine on this at all uh, you know it's fairly thin well not really thin but you know i don't want to take no more meat off of this it's got it's got plenty of engagement there's probably a good 16th of an inch of engagement right there that's plenty uh, because this will really actually never take any thrust load because if the clamp is clamped down, then this is not taking any thrust in this trough right here. And if the clamp is not clamped down, then this is just flopping in the breeze and it's a moot point. All this retainer is for is to keep your centric from falling off or falling out when you pick it up and turn it the wrong way. Or at least that's what I see it as being for. So what I aim to do is set this up drill this hole out for uh eight millimeter tap size which is 17 60 fourths and then we'll once we get her drilled out then i'll take a half inch end mill and the drill press which you're not really supposed to do but uh a five sixteenths counterbore bit is 470 od and i i'd rather use half inch od so I'll just take a half inch end mill and uh, while this is set up in the drill press, I'll just bore that out with a half inch end mill so that we've got a good countersink and I'll make that countersink to where this will clear the face. You know, we'll, we'll sink it in there, I don't know, 10, 20 thousandths or something just so that the top of this bolt is below the face of this rotary table. So let's go set her up in the drill press. So this is the third hokiest setup I've ever made. Uh, this drill will just barely go down through all that hole. And what I've done is just kind of lined everything up so that that will go in there without rubbing the sides. So that assures me that I'm reasonably straight and reasonably centered on the existing hole. And that's as good as we can hope for is reasonably. So I'm going to just go ahead and get this drilled and tapped off camera because there ain't no use to yin's watching this. You know how to do that.
so there's our finished product. Uh, kindly through trial and error, I got my depth set. Uh, it was pretty easy to figure out where to end the threads. You know, you just screwed it in there and counted how many threads were sticking out. And if you can see the threads, well, they're out too far. So I figured that part of it out. And then I ended up, I cut a little thread gutter here just so that uh, nothing bound up back here in the back corner uh, where the head is what's, you know, 100% the head is what's holding that, not the bind of the threads. Uh, the diameter, you just want the diameter to fit that trench. And like I say, by trial and error, I just kind of figured out how to do it or how deep to make the pin protrude down into the bore. And I doubt this can be shown on camera because the lighting is terrible in this shop. Uh, you might, there you go, you can kind of see it down in that bore. Don't need to uh, put 200 pounds of torque on this. But there we go. Doesn't bind up. Doesn't fall out. I believe it's a fine tool. Works nicely. So, well, there's the furnace kicked back on. Well, that's all I got to say about that. I can't really think of nothing else. So, until we meet again, y'all drive safe. Watch for deer.